Welcome to the barn. My name's Tyler. This is my brother Jake. And this is his RX-8. That's a pretty good intro. <laughs> keep that in. Yeah, keep that in. So the big thing with Jake's RX-8, we're trying to fit this engine, which I guess really isn't too hard because it's almost the same block size and everything as the current engine that's in the car or out of the car and that's a rue swap out of a rx7 fd jake's been slowly piecemealing and researching getting all the parts together for the car and we finally have like what would we say like 90 percent of the parts yeah we have all many of the components we don't have we don't have a lot of the plumbing so that's the big hurdle now is getting everything connected. Uh, primarily, we're gonna work on the air system, so like the exhaust and the uh, intake charge pipes. To do that stuff, I got this fancy new scanner from Shining 3D, or Einstar, as a lot of people will probably know. The thing works, the balls, it's absolutely awesome. It grabs tracking, scans anything, it even scanned the gold foil in the engine bay. Worked great. But the big thing with getting everything scanned is trying to locate stuff in space in the engine bay to allow us to design the shortest possible exhaust manifold and also make sure the air intake can line up and not hit the AC and any other various piping that we have in the way. Mostly because there's nothing that exists that we can just bolt on. So like Jake said, our primary focus is on plumbing, and that's specifically getting down to the intake of the car and the exhaust. With the intake, we're trying to go from an RX-8 throttle body into an RX-7 upper intake manifold and down into the engine. Once we get through the engine, we come out and go into the exhaust. Now, Jake is trying to have the shortest possible exhaust header length to go into the turbo manifold to minimize his lag due to piping loss and whatever other and specifics, other stuff uh, that we'll get into later on as we work on designing the exhaust manifold. But for now, we got everything scanned tonight, and we're going to work on putting it into CAD and try to do some videos of that. I think that's about it. Stick around for seeing where this build goes, and hopefully, I'll get better at talking to the camera. Thanks for hanging around tonight.